Hey guys, this is Jacoli of Jacoya Gems. Thank you for once again coming back home, family. For those of you that happen to be new here, welcome. I definitely hope you hear something to say that can persuade you to stay. Now, if you have not already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, comment down below, share it to your social media platforms. So, I'm just going to read some source materials for you guys. Um, I'm not about to argue in my comments. I'm leaving sources. Like, that's it. That's all. This is correlating Simon the Magus to the Apostle Paul. According to Irenaeus, our earliest witness to Simon's doctrine, and again, heresies 23.3, Simon teaching his sect on the following teachings. Now, this is Simon of Samaria, from whom all sorts of heresies derive their origins, formed his sect out of the following materials. Men are saved through grace, and not on an account of their own righteousness. For such deeds are not righteous in the nature of things, but by mere accidents, just as those angels who made the world. The doctrine of angels is taught by the Apostle Paul, and so is grace. Now I'm going to come back with a video to tell where the doctrines of angels come from, other than Simon the Maggots. But, y'all love Paul so much, somebody just left me a comment at 8 something in the morning talking about, if you forsake Paul, you forsake Jesus. Like, y'all are truly brainwashed. Just as those angels who made the world have thought fit to constitute them, seeking by means of such precepts to bring men into bondage. This is exactly what Paul teaches. On this account, he pledged himself that the world should not be dissolved and that those who are his should be free from the world of them who made them. What's curious is that this is almost the exactly the same gospel that Paul teaches in Galatians, particularly in chapters 2-4. through four. And I quote, I do not nullify the grace of God, for it is justification comes through the law. Then Christ died for nothing. This is Galatians 2 and 21. Why went then the law? It was ordained through angels by a mediator. Galatians 3 and 19. But the scripture has imprisoned all things under the power of sin. Before faith came, we were imprisoned and guarded under the law until faith would be revealed. This is Galatians 3, 22 through 23. We were all minors. We were enslaved to the elemental spirits of the world. Galatians 4 and 3. Formerly, when you do not know God, you are enslaved to beings that by nature are not gods. Now, however, that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly elementary spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? Galatians 4, 8 through 9. So both Paul and Simon the Magus seem to be basing their gospel on the following. Men are saved by grace and not through righteousness, which are works under the law. The law was given by angels to bring men into bondage. The true God has finally made himself known unto men. Now people can be free from the bondage of the law and the elemental spirits that were not gods. Paul, or them who made the world, Simon the Magus, which works out to be the same thing in Gnostic theology. It is also interesting to note that Irenaeus occasionally quotes passages from Paul's letters, including Galatians, but not the specific versions that describe Paul's doctrine about the bondage of the law, angels, and elemental spirits. Irenaeus also quotes Galatians 4 and 4. God sent his son born of a woman several times, a verse that New Testament scholar J.C. O'Neill has said cannot be by the same author as Galatians 4, 1 through 3, and Galatians 4, 8 through 10. So, yeah, that's all I got for y'all. Line up on line, precept on precept. Continuing to follow. Follow after the Apostle Paul, then you are following after Simon the Magus.